Hey guys, let's take a look at lesson 42, the symbols of inclusion, which means you include things. So what, what are some ways, first off, that you can say four times five? Well, you can go, you know, four times five. You could say four. We avoid this now because we're in algebra and we don't want to use X's. You could say this way, you know, four times five, or you could say both of them, four times five, or you could go four times five. That's a little awkward, but that's one way you can say it. Parentheses mean multiply. Okay, now if you get parentheses in different ways in algebra, you can use them for grouping numbers. And we know that the order of operations, we do things a certain way. We'll talk about that in a second. But remember the order of operations as we do parentheses first, right? Then exponents, then multiply and divide left to right, then add and subtract left to right. Okay, so copy this down, pause it if you need to, and let's take a look. Okay, so we're going to simplify this, and I would strongly urge you not to try to do this all in your head at once, unless you're really good at this. You get almost all of them right. Most of us, um, I would just suggest just doing this a little bit at a time and make sure you don't make little ticky-tack mistakes. Nothing is more annoying than having to do a Saxon lesson over again, or like the problem over again because you did some ridiculous mistake. Okay, anyway, here you go. For example, let's go 4 and then plus, and then I would do this. That's 15 and then nine times two, and then two, and then 15 minus three is there you go, okay? And again, we still do parentheses first, right? So just copy it down again, four plus 15 times two, 30, plus two times 12, 24. Four plus 30 is 34, plus 24, 58, boom, there you go, okay? Let's try another one, pause it and copy. All right, same old thing. Let's do the parentheses first here. Let's go eight and then 20 minus three is 17. Minus, okay, hold off a second. 17 minus 11 is six. Six plus three is nine, boom. And then there's a two there and then plus five, okay? Order of operations, parentheses first, okay? Eight times 17, we all remember our 17s table. 17 times nine, no, okay, anyway. Eight times 17 is 136. All right, now we're going to do this first. Remember, don't just go, oh, minus nine, you know, do the parentheses first. That's going to be minus nine times two and then plus five. So this will be 118 plus five is 123. There you go. Okay. All right, let's try one more. Pause and copy. Okay, now if you notice, you got some weird, funky looking brackets here. And the reason they use brackets is so they can enclose parentheses in a def different set of parentheses, okay? So you don't want to have a bunch of sets of parentheses like, you know, like this, just sitting there going, you know, like it just gets confusing looking. So we make them look different and we kind of alternate when that happens. And there's some other, other funky looking brackets we'll use later on. Okay, well, let's just, go, we're going to work our way out here and then go with brackets. Brackets are the same thing as parentheses. So let's go 24 minus two, just copy the bracket again. And let's do this first. That's going to be 5 t minus uh, 2, which is just 3. If you want to put another set of parentheses, you can do that. 14 minus 12 is 2, and then plus 3, and then end your bracket. Okay, and again, we're going to have to do treat these brackets as parentheses, so you need to do it again. So we got 24, again, minus 2, and then use your bracket. This is what goes first, the multiplication, the parentheses, and the bracket. That's going to be a 6 plus 3. You know what? If you want, well, we'll just do it one more time. So 24 minus 2, and then, of course, that's going to be 9. And then 24 minus 2 times 9 is 18, which will give you 6. And there we go. That's all there is to it. Okay. All right. Looks kind of complicated, but just do it again and again. All right. Here's another one. Pause and copy. Okay. Well, I'm just going to copy down my 33 again, and my minus 2, and my bracket. And let's get this part in here done first. So I'm going to go 3, which is that 3, of course, times 15 minus, and then this part first. We could do this probably all at once if you want to. 5 times 2 is 10, times 3 is 30. So if you want to do that, feel free. All right, 33 minus 2, bracket. 3 times 15 is 45 minus 30. And then 33 minus 2 times 45 minus 30 is 15, and then two times, let's just go 33 again, my, uh, minus two times 15, 30, and then so the answer is three, and there you go. Okay, all right. Let's look at this, division in order of operations. So this is what, you might wanna write this down. This is how we're gonna do this when we use order of operations. First thing is to simplify within your symbols of inclusion. All right, you can pause and copy. 
Number two is multiply and divide left to right. Number three, add and subtract left to right. And that's just the way you're going to do this. And you're going to see tons of examples of these in the Saxon book. And any of these uh, ones that you get incorrect the first time, just go back and look. Make sure you're doing a little step by step. That way it's a lot easier to, because if you try to do it all at one time, then you're going to go, I went from here with you know, 912 different terms, and then I got my answer. Like, I don't know what I did wrong. Well, it's because you didn't write your answers. I mean, after a while, you can stop doing that. But just for a while, just kind of like write your steps down so you can see if you miss one, where you missed it. Okay, let's try a couple of these here. All right. Look at there. Pause and copy, of course. Okay. Well, let's just, if it was me, I would just like, okay, I'm, I'm doing, this is what I'm doing first here. Yeep. And then, you know, I'm going to do that one there. And really, this one here is going to be what I'm looking at first. I'll get that in a second, but we'll, we'll hold off. Okay, so let's go and look at, again, look at these. Within symbols of inclusion, multiply, and add and subtract. So you can actually, if you want to, go ahead and do this if you want. You can go 5 minus 2, well, that's 3. And then a negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. So you can, if you want to write negative 6 there, that's okay. Start that way. So then you can just go ahead and go left to right and get this division and multiplication out of the way. So I got a 5 plus, now this is 12 divided by 2, 6. Do that first. You don't go 5 plus 12, then of course, you know, it's order of operations, okay? Plus, it's not 2 plus 3, remember, or 6 plus 3, whatever. It's this part first. So it's going to be 6 plus 12 minus 6. Everybody there? You good? Okay, I'm assuming you said yes. Okay, I, what'd you say? I, yeah, this, this is not live, so I can't hear a thing you're saying. Okay, all right, then it's easy, just left to right. Five plus six is 11, 11 plus 12 is 23, minus six, 17, boom, there you go, okay. Five plus six plus 12 minus two times three, boom. Okay, should I try another one? Oh, practice problems, all right, give these a whirl. Uh, we can start with the first one, you can do one at a time if you want, so pause it and uh, give it a whirl. Okay, let's try one. And we're gonna go, you know, obviously this is first, you know, let's just do it first. 4 plus 10 divided by 2 minus 3 times, of course, that's 2. All right, parentheses. This is the same thing as multiplying. So we can just do it all at once if you want to, left to right. But just don't do 4 plus 10. You know, that's not, the order of operation is this and this first, left to right. So we got 4 plus 10 divided by 2 minus 3 times 2, boom. 4 plus 5 minus 6 is 3. There you go. Okay. All right. Let's try the second one. Pause it and copy and do it. Okay. Same thing here. This is what we're looking at first. If you want to mark stuff this way, that might help. Um, this definitely needs to be done first. Okay. And all this stuff right here. All right. So let's just copy my five. If you want to do, you know, we can wait on 10 times six if you want, and we can subtract two. So in other words, a negative two times 3 times 2. Well, 3 times 2 is 6. Negative 2 times 6 is negative 12. And then we can put our minus 2. Now we can just go this part here. That needs to go first. Don't do 5 plus 10. That's not the correct order. All right? 5 plus 60 minus 12 minus 2. That's 65. Minus 12 is 53. Minus 2 is 51. Okay. All right. Pause and copy and try this one here. Okay, this is, looks kind of complicated and funky with all these brackets, but let's just work our way out, all right? So let me just do this. We can actually just copy this part first if you want. Well, let's just here, I'll just do the whole thing. 55 minus three, I got a bracket. This part here is going to be three. You can put parentheses around it or not, it doesn't matter. 10 minus six, of course, is four, and then plus two, and you can, you know, clip off the bracket there. All right, still inside these parentheses brackets, so 55 minus 3, and then we can go, you know, 3 times 4 is 12, plus 2 is 14. There we go. How's that? Okay. Now we know we have to do this first. We don't just make sure you're not going, oh, 55 minus 3 is 50. No. Okay, do this part first. It's 55 minus 3 times 14, which is 42. So the answer is 13. There you go. Okay. All right. Pause it and try this last one. Okay, more brackety, funky stuff here. So I'm just gonna go two, bracket, three, and then I'm gonna go ahead and go three, and I'm gonna go ahead and go two, 
and then plus two in the bracket minus two. Yuck, a lot of twos there. All right, so we're still inside here first. All right, I'm just gonna keep my two out there. We can just, we, we can probably just do this all, all in one you know, step here. So three times three is nine. Nine times two is 18. 18 plus two is 20. There you go. Two times 20, 40. Minus two is 38. Okay. All right, hope that went well. Do your stuff today. Uh, do the steps. Don't try to do this all in one step. You'll it'll drive you crazy trying to figure out which ones you get, where, where you messed up if you do mess up. So, I mean, okay. Good luck. See you guys next time. Bye.